Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Apogee Accelerator series. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to implement the client credentials grant type using Apogee's built-in OAuth policies. Let's get started. Let's do a quick overview of the client credential roles to help illustrate where Apogee fits in. We'll start with the client app, which is an API consumer that needs access to protected resources. Typically with this flow, the client runs on a server rather than locally on a user's laptop or device. In our sample, Apogee is the OAuth authorization server. Its role is to generate access tokens, validate access tokens, and pass authorized requests for protected resources to the resource server. The resource server is a backend service that stores the protected data that our client app needs permission to access. In our sample, Apogee is also the resource server. Now let's walk through the flow. The client app requests an access token. To receive an access token, the client posts an API call to Apogee with the values for client ID and client secret obtained from a registered developer app. Apogee then validates these credentials. If the credentials are valid, Apogee returns an access token to the client. If not, an error is returned. Now with a valid access token, the client can make calls to the protected API. In this diagram, requests are made to Apogee, and Apogee is responsible for validating the access token before passing the API call along to the target resource server, which responds with the requested resource. Now let's walk through how to deploy and test this sample. In order to deploy and test this sample, you'll need an Apogee instance provisioned with access configured for external traffic. As a user, you'll need permissions to deploy API proxies, create API products, and register developers and applications. This can be granted through the Apogee org admin role or the API and developer admin roles. To deploy this sample, you'll also need the command line tools shown here. If you're using Google Cloud Shell, these are already installed. We've included a Google Cloud Shell tutorial, which you can simply click to quickly get started. Now that you're in the Cloud Shell environment, you can follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the right-hand side. First, make sure you're logged in with the right account. Then change to the directory for this sample. To deploy the sample, first open the envsh file and set the configuration to reference your Apogee project, environment, and external hostname. When you've finished, source the env.sh file on the command line. Next, run the included script to deploy the sample to your Apogee instance and wait for it to complete. It could take a few minutes. Once the deployment is complete, take a minute to read some of the text output. You should see the automated tests have passed, and you'll also be presented with the deployed proxy URL and the client ID and secret from the sample developer app. You'll then see some example curl commands which you can use to test the sample for yourself. First, obtain a short-lived access token using the token endpoint. Then scroll back up to copy the second curl command which allows you to access the protected resource. Don't forget to add the token you just received and end the command with closing quotation marks. You'll now see a message returned from the protected API. When you're done with the sample, you can provide us with feedback if you like, and then you can use the cleanup script to delete the resources that were deployed to your Apogee organization. I hope you found this video useful. You can subscribe to our channel to see more videos in the Apogee Accelerator series. If you have questions, please visit the Apogee community, and thanks for watching.